There are some truisms in this world, and one is that retired loggers can talk. I mean, really talk. And when they get together for a coffee social, well, let's just say the air is thick with stories of the way it used to be. You know, it, it, was, a, it was a family affair. I mean, we work with the same guys, a lot of us for 35 years, some guys 40 years and even longer. And it's, it's nice to bring back all those memories. And, and now that, that era is over and it's sad. I started driving logging truck and then I ended up as the truck dispatcher at Franklin. Life looked good. We thought we had uh, lots of wood. There would be work forever. We'd be able to bring our kids into the industry and uh, ra have a good living for them and raise their families here. And then I would say in the 1980s, things started to deteriorate with the economy. And then there was a lot of pressure put on the, what we call the wood basket, where there was pressure to try and protect much of what we thought was gonna be there forever. But it wasn't there forever, and a way of life was slipping away. Luckily, a group of volunteers from Alberni Valley Hospice began to collect the stories of forestry industry workers and published them in a book called Vital Voices, Alberni Valley Loggers. It's interesting to read about all the other guys and all the different uh, phases of the job that we did there. A lot of stuff gets taken for granted, and you can read it and it, you bring back some good memories and some bad memories. Now everything has just shrunk down, and uh, it's, it's sad that that's gone. It, it really is. That's why we have our logging forms to try and present what it was like for a lot of people that either didn't see it or for those that didn't get to work in it and bring back some awfully good memories. But that was the first thing I did. I went and bought one of those. And it just, you start reading, I know that guy, or I know that situation, or what happened, or whatever. I think it's awesome. Vital Voices is available for purchase at the Hospice Community Office on 10th Avenue. A wonderful way to hold on to some local history and support hospice.